Moves? Scrubbed. Base stats? Scrubbed. Text to names? Scrubbed. Pokedex amount? Scrubbed. Pictures? In. This is truly the craziest night in the history of Pokemon. Because the Pokemon Sun and Moon demo has been completely cracked open. And we know all of the new Pokemon that are going to be in Pokemon Sun and Moon. And also, if there are any Pokemon company representatives watching this video, please just remove the video. You can send me a message, you can send me a cease and desist. Just do not give me a strike. That's all I ask. I'm just here trying to get the news out there. And we're going to see where this goes. So, Joe Merrick is also advised for people to not do this. And I this is too crazy at the same time. Because we have the Pokemon Sun and Moon starter final evolutions, guys. It's real. These guys are real. I was so worried. For a bit, I was worried, like, okay, now that we know all the Pokemon, now that the leakers are doing their thing and the data miners are going hard into this game, what happens if it's not the final evolutions we've seen so far? But it looks like it is. So, these are the final evolutions we've seen. These were the Pokemon that Junichi Masuda autographed. And it's like, wait, was he just doing it because he autographs anything in front of him? Are there going to be more restrictions as to what he can sign because he's Janichi freaking Masuda? Or was he signing it because in a month it's not going to matter? In a couple days, what if there's, what if one of the big Pokemon events that's in the demo? You know, there's every couple of days a new event is going to happen in the demo. What if one of the events lets you play around with the starter Pokemon? You're going to find out anyways, so what's the point in signing it, you know, five days a week before all that happens? But now I don't even know what's happening, so... I've already talked about these Pokemon, I've already talked about the designs, like, the freaking Rowlet evolution that pulls out a freaking Vine Whip and then makes a freaking bow with its wing and then shoots freaking arrows, that's like the coolest thing ever. Now, also looking at this Pokemon, the Litten evolution, it's not as bad looking in 3D. Like, it has more, it doesn't look as flat and silly, it still doesn't make sense for a Pokemon, but looks a little better, like that. And then we have the Poplio Final Evolution, I mean, I still think it looks good. And looking at Brion, the Pokemon, it, it seemed, it seemed possible, it seemed like Brion could evolve into that, and then we were good to go, but we're getting all kinds of stuff, like, we're getting, oh yeah, that's right, Alolan Diglett, and then we have shiny Pokemon sprites in the game as well. So we have shiny Alolan Ninetales. And it actually looks pretty awesome. So, when I was doing my shiny Pokemon video, I was like making predictions. I actually came kind of close on the Rowlet, and I was more predicting that shiny Alolan Ninetales would get this orange color. That it could go pinkish to kind of match with like maybe some fairy type stuff going on. But it, I was thinking it would go orange to go and look like a regular Ninetales, just really white and really shiny and stuff like that. So there we go, and as we scroll up, it's just crazy here. That's the, that's the Toucan Pokemon. Everyone knew a Toucan Pokemon was coming because it's on one of the shirt designs that we saw in one of the Pokemon trailers trailers and only existing Pokemon were on the shirts. It's not like they're going to randomly pull a real life animal and put it on a shirt in the Pokemon world and not give us a Pokemon. So there's a Toucan and it looks pretty much exactly how we saw it. So I like it because it seems like it's doing that Chattot thing. Chattot's kind of like a normal looking bird for the most part, but it's got that mean squinty bird eye look and then it's just got a Pokemon style to it. So I mean, he's a cool little guy and we're going to see what Mr. Toucan over here can do. And now we go into some crazy things. What is going on? More new Pokemon. Yeah, boy. Crab Brawler Evolution. It looks like a literal coconut crab. Like a coconut-shaped crab, coconut crab, that's going to punch you down with, like, me mega crazy fists and stuff. And then this. This one is actually really interesting. So let me go and bring up... I need to find, like, a new page for the Cerebi Twitter. Because if we have the Cerebi Twitter, there was this reveal earlier today. Now, this wasn't like a mega massive leak or anything. That this was intentionally put out there by the Pokemon Company. And it had a bit of a teaser inside of it. Because, okay, got the box art for the TCG. We have Crocodile. Or, no, we have Crocorock, which means Crocodile. We have the um, Meowth. And then, what's this thing? I don't, I don't know what this thing looks like. Well, this actually looks like the pre-evolution for this guy. And now I'm thinking like, oh, it's sea urchin Pokemon, and that these are actually like flaps, you know, like normally the Pokemon should just look like a half dome, and then it has spikes around it, and then it looks like a sea urchin or something of that sort, which is why, oh, there's also more sprites and crazy things that we're going to be talking about. So at first I was wondering like, what is this, is it kind of like a sea anemone? Because it, it anchors down on the bottom and it has like this little like cylindrical part and then something at the top, but this definitely is going to be the final evolution, or at least a part of the evolution. Now what's weird is that this little guy like kind of shrinks up and then shrivels up to the top or something, and it's more planted down. But this guy looks really small because he's like on the bottom of the ocean floor and doesn't really take up much space. So I'm guessing that that's what that evolves into. And then we have the uh, Crab Brawler evolution, and then this thing. 
This looks like one of those water walker skittery kind of bug things. But I'm wondering if it's like reverse or if it's electric. Like, is this going to be a bug water Pokemon? Is this bug electric? Electric water? I'm not really sure. It kind of looks really jolty and spiky like that. But I'm, I'm also wondering, like, what that bubble around its head is. Is that a bubble of air so it lives underwater? Or is that a bubble of water so it lives above water? You know, there's, like, those spiders that they suck up air and then they, like, make little nests of bubbles of air and stuff. And they can live inside those for a while. So is this guy going to live on the top of the water with a water bubble or under it with an air bubble? That's one of the things I'm interested in. And it's a cra crazy, creepy, kind of spidery looking thing that... Here's the thing about Pokemon that I'm not really against all the weird designs, except for the Ultra Beast. The Ultra Beast way too freaked me out. But the weird designs kind of make sense, because when you think about it, the sea floor, or just the ocean, has like the craziest creatures you can imagine. And it looks like Pokemon's getting pretty liberal with how crazy they can make the designs, and I'm actually okay with that. Not a fan of a coconut crab kind of punchy Pokemon, not a fan of Crab Brawler, but it does make sense. And then... More Alolan Pokemon! So we got to see Alolan Diglett, or we got to see Alolan Dugtrio, but we also have Alolan Diglett. So Alolan Dugtrio, I mean, I love this sprite image. Like, tall guy over there has the most glorious hair I have ever seen. And then we got, like, Mr. Bullcut over here, and then we also still have, like, crazy hair, and then a little onion head, you know, like a little onion sprout on the top of Diglett for the Alolan Diglett. This is so great. It is so great. Um... The Persian is kind of fat and silly looking, but it makes sense at the same time. Like, remember with Alolan Raichu, that Pokemon got all chubby off fit pancakes, so maybe the same thing happened with the Alolan Meowth. Like, when you're talking about it, the reason why Alolan Meowth became a dark type is that it got spoiled. So that is what an extremely spoiled fat cat looks like, you know, if a Persian just took it way too far. Now, this is interesting. This looks like Probopass, Nosepass levels. Like, that's a magnet. Is it like a steel type, or is it gonna be like Rock Electric or something on the Alolan Geodude? That's some interesting stuff right there. So Alolan Geodude, Graveler, and Golem. Now it's really interesting because I did my video showing every Pokemon that's been in the trailers, and I don't think we saw Geodude, Graveler, or Golem, and then those turned out to get Alolan form. Same with like Diglett and Dugtrio. So it's really interesting because of that. And then we also have Pikachu forms. Oh, this is like the most adorable like Pikachu dress up ever. It gets to wear all of Ash's hats, and it even has, like, some other hats and stuff. How cool is this? And then, yo, Salandit Evolution. And also, we get to see the, I forget, Morello? Morello's Evolution. That's a kombucha mushroom person, if I've ever seen it. That, that looks cool and freaky and mushroomy and, like, some kind of mushroom trip thing. So, that works for design. But, yo, the Salandit Evolutionary line, that is way too sexy because when you think about it the way that they attract mates and stuff is that they have special pheromones and it's the fire poison typing that helps out with that so it does get an evolution which means this guy probably doesn't have good space stats i was thinking like yo what if you go like eviolite shenanigans into crazy toxic stall against any pokemon no the evolution seems a bit more elegant and stuff like that but yeah it has like a lot more pink and graceful body pattern so the pheromone thing becomes a little too real and it's it's just like sexy lizard lady i don't know how to feel about that but i think it's still a good design and then we also have the mushroom evolution so i guess it's only two stages so it's going to be like in like all the other mushroom pokemon that we have breloom that's the second stage evolution we have amoongus that's second stage then we have this guy so it's not gonna be like three stage into anything crazy but if this is a tanky pokemon got another spore tank that can do really silly things and it's a glow shroom so things are pretty crazy right there also wimpod evolution he goes from crazy wimpy fish or not wimpy fish but wimpy thing into this this absolute monstrous beast i think it looks really cool so that's something. I think it's a very fitting evolution. I don't know if that's going to be final stage or second stage or something like that. And that's why, like, this picture was here. This just kind of showed other things. So, type null in the game. This anchor? What is it? We have, like, an anchor poke. Is this, like, is this a ghost type? I hope that's, like, a possessed anchor. That'd be pretty cool. Um, that, that'd be, like, an Aegis Slash. And, uh, a is that a Lolan a Aegis Slash? No, there's no way. That would be way too silly if it was. I don't know. I just lost my mind for a second. Because with all of these leaks and reveals and stuff so far, we haven't seen Alolan Pokemon outside of the first gen. And also, we have a pre-evolution to this guy right here. 
And then we, oh yeah, we also see the other form. So yeah, there he is. I, I didn't see this part yet, because I was just kind of like skimming through it. Because my man, Philip over here, he was the one giving the hookups. And then these were the other ones. So I want to give some shout outs and prep, like props to Philip for this. But then this guy, yeah, that's the same Pokemon. So that goes and involves into that. And that was what we saw right here. Oh boy. Okay, so there's still more things to talk about. It still gets crazy. Like, we got the Tapu Pokemon, but I'm thinking we can end it right now. We've... It's already so much to talk about. It's already so big, and I really just want to see how this video does. Like, hopefully I don't get a strike. Hopefully... Like, if the video doesn't get taken down and let people keep putting up the videos and this seems to be okay to do PR-wise, I'll go through it. Because the rest of it, we're still getting, like, new stuff. Like, every 10, 20 minutes now, it's like, oh, here's another Pokemon we found. Here's another Shiny we found. Here's another Pokemon. So I guess I'll go in batches since I could be here talking about for hours about the designs of new Pokemon. But... My, my guesses are Electric Terrain, Misty Terrain, Psychic Terrain, Grassy Terrain, question mark, something like that. Because Psychic Terrain is also a move that has been revealed by the leakers, and I'll talk about that later as well. So if you guys enjoy the video, hope you all have a nice day. Holy crap.